Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today I am here in Traverse City at the Northern Michigan Asylum, um, now known as the Village. And I am here exploring another asylum building. Again, these were male patient dorms um, during their use. Now, as we begin the video, I just want to say once again, thank you to Preservation Works. They make these tours possible. Um, they're a really good group, nonprofit that helps with asylums and Kirkbrides. They've done a lot of work here at Traverse City. They've done work at Fergus Falls. And of course, they've done work with the Ridges. So I will put a link to their Facebook page in the description below. And you should definitely check them out because they make this tour possible. And if you want to go and see these buildings for yourself, you can just go ahead and go on one of their tours. So anyway, with that said, let's go back into the actual exploration. So as you may see, I am starting out here in the basement of the building. Now, this building was used a bit during Halloween. Um, I'm not sure if they run like a haunted house through here or what the deal is. So we were warned that we may see some stuff that was still staged from Halloween. So you can see like those lights and stuff. And down here we had some paperwork. So continuing down through the basement you can see the archways and stuff. Very good craftsmanship down here. You can see that is another piece of the Halloween set left behind. I don't think that part was though. And you can kind of see that this place is kind of like a maze. I mean, there's not too much you can go through, but one room leads to another room that leads to another room. So yeah, just looking around here currently, not much left in the basement, or at least in this part of the basement. See just some empty rooms left. This was pretty interesting. That looked like a wooden vent, in my opinion. Could be completely wrong, but caught me by surprise. So as we keep going, you notice there is an exit door here that is blocked off, and we have a quote about insanity. Now we got some toolboxes and stuff, and then over here, it's kind of an interesting area. We have some tables, there's a doll with its face smashed in. Then we have these golden bedposts, which were really cool looking. And there's a little saw, because again, Halloween. Now down here, we have an access to one of the tunnels where the pipes were. And there was some more furniture back there. And then we have just a little rocking chair by itself. Definitely probably part of the Halloween props, you know. Because probably like a string or something to make the chair rock on its own and scare people. But I thought it was pretty good looking. Definitely good for a photo opportunity. So now we are going to head on up to the next floor. This was an interesting area because there were two doors, which is not normal. Um, but we can look in there, just some power and stuff underneath the stairs. Obviously no longer used. Oh, and this is where I mess up because I accidentally go back outside because I thought I was entering the first floor and forgot that we came in halfway through a floor. <laughs> so here we are on the first floor. Again, you're going to see lots of things in here. Um, most of it is staged from Halloween is what they said. I don't know what they do around here on Halloween. 
beautiful tiles here for the shower area. And then we have this area, which I believe was probably a bathroom. You know, you'd have the sinks on this side and the toilets on this side, maybe. Um, I am absolutely just guessing here because there's really not enough room for privacy there. But that was my best guess. That metal door is sealed off. I do not know why. Um, you'll see where it goes later. But it's weird that that portion is sealed off. So here we are walking into the main hallway room. You can see the main door is blocked off. And then as we go over here, you know, got some more rooms. You can actually see this is how they power the building for whatever they do during Halloween. It does not look safe at all, but whatever. So here we are looking down the main hallway. You can see they still have the chairs left. Apparently, the chairs are all still set up from Halloween. Um, but I think they look it, make it look good, you know, just having the chairs there. For example, just this chair in the corner of this room was a really great photo opportunity. Same with this chair right here. Oh, and look at this. We have a knob into power, um, power box. Now this area right here is extremely beautiful. Got the boarded up windows. You got um, a little chest that is almost definitely from the Halloween event. But it's just really beautiful. Got some really good photos right there. And this main hallway just looks so amazing. Especially with the chairs on each side. It is one of my favorites. Then we have this area. And that actually leads into the basement where we began. And there's like a little fake baby in a crib right there for some reason. Um, Like I said, lots of stuff from Halloween apparently. Then we go back here into a, um, like a little back section. So, what's really weird is as we go through this door here, there's like metal industrial stairs. Now, I did not go on those because that's not at all something I want to mess with when I got some good stairs left. But I thought that was pretty weird. We have a radiator on the floor there. And then, I guess I did not show it, but there were also some wooden stairs down into the basement. So here is a staircase that is actually like built into the building. Like I said in a previous video, I think some of these staircases were added in. But this is very obviously original. And it looks so much better in my opinion than the other ones. So here we are on the second floor. You're going to see a lot of similar designs um, up here because of course that was so easy to do. Those are the stairs to the attic which we'll go up to later. You gotta have a random room filled with wood. It is basically a requirement for most abandoned buildings, even though I don't know why. Now again, there's just so much natural light in these buildings, which is great. I love seeing the beams connect on the floor. And again, here is the top of those stairs. This part definitely had to be an add-on. Um, and again, I was not messing with them. You can see the archway. Again, there are archways everywhere in these buildings. I love it so very much. And 
and I didn't even realize at the time, but you can tell where there were like little handholds, but it doesn't look like it's actually there anymore. And again, we have the same design at the bottom, up top, but that one isn't all boarded up. And we have more power boxes. And again, I believe this was left over from Halloween. And look at that beautiful archway right there, leading into an area with even more light. Really, the construction of these things is amazing. So here we are, um, we're just going to take a second real quick, kind of let him get a photo and then we're going to squeeze by him. Now I don't think I show off the room he was in, but it had like, kind of like a burnt area in the floor, I guess I would describe it. It's pretty cool, pretty unique. Um, get a nice hallway look while we wait for a second. So as we get over here. We have this area, we have a sink on the side. Right there, we got an area with some pipes. And then we have this little ledge. Which I don't know what that would have been. Um, so this is the same metal door that's on the first floor, but on the second floor. And as we look down, it goes all the way to the basement. You may remember I actually looked in this room. It's just a pure white room with nothing in it. It goes all the way down to the basement. So my best guess is maybe some sort of laundry chute. Or maybe there was like a very primitive elevator there. That was like hand pulled or something. Then. Walking back through here. On our way up to the attic. And as we're walking through, I once again want to thank Preservation Works for making this whole thing possible. They do a lot of really good work, and you guys should definitely check them out. So here we are going up to the attic. The only way up to the attic in this building at least that I remember seeing, was through the original stairs, which is pretty cool. So here we are in the attic of the building. Now, this building actually has some patients who, or patients or staff, I should say, who wrote their names on the bricks here. So we will take a short look at that real quick in just a second. But here we are just looking around. You can see lots of pipes and stuff. Um, all The whole piping situation in all of these asylums is just so weird to me. Nice window with some light over there. Now we're going to head over to this post. Um, I believe this is the only post I actually show in the video, but there were more that were shown to me afterwards. You can see 1903. Um, that one doesn't have a date on it. That one doesn't either. Um, so I'm guessing those were all the ones on this pillar. But there were some other ones in some other areas from like the 70s and stuff. It's just really interesting to have all these names that are preserved in the building and are basically hidden unless you know about them which thankfully the preservation works people do know about them so here we are going to what I call the witches room um, again you have the nice windows and you have the thing in the center which maybe was set up for Halloween I don't know but for some reason I get some witchy vibes from it and I believe the roof in the area actually has a witch's hat look so that's perfect for the area. And as we continue down through the attic, 
I'm going to go ahead and begin wrapping up the video. Oh, look. He's actually showing me right now where the other ones are. So you can see 1940s. Um, 1972, 1925, that's the person who shingled the roof, and 1978. So thank you again, the Preservation Works, because I never would have noticed those, and he pointed them out for me. So once again... I am going to start wrapping up this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Once again, check out Preservation Works. They are wonderful and they do a lot of good work. Um, also, this is clearly part of the add-on stairs. Completely forgot about this. But anyway, if you guys like this video, if you want to see more, Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. And thank you for watching.